Don't worry, guys. I went back and saved Wally. They hid him in the underground passage. Don't don't worry, guys. Ah, yeah. I bet you none of you guys knew where that hidden passage was. Uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I will show you next time we're in Petalburg. But anyway, I saved him. And you know, he left right away, scared out of his mind. So he probably already beat us to Verdant Earth. Alright, so, let's go. We are walking through Petalburg Forest. And we just got Paralyzed Heal. Yeah. Alright, we're about to meet one of the bad teams of the game. One of the evil organizations. And it starts with this man. Yes, I just saw a shroom edge. Uh, you, if you go back a few paces, you'll probably see a burning mushroom. Oh, hey. It's a blue guy. He has a bandana. Or a do-rag, depending on what your preference is. Yes, I'm a trainer. I'm actually a very good one, with a level... You know, level 9. Wait, is it level 9? I'm not even sure. It's not like I've done uh, much grinding for this. Oh no, it's level 12. What am I thinking? Durr. Anyway, Pugina, I burn you. Yeah, was that supposed to hurt? Now I scratch you with my beak. I guess. I guess I have claws, but they're kind of small. And it'd be kind of hard for me to balance. So I guess it's with my beak. Anyway, we've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Anyway. Yes, run away. Run in fear. Oh yeah, these papers are really important. I have no idea what they are. Like, no idea what at all. But hey, we get a great ball out of the deal. Why not? Why not have a great ball? And he just realized the world is about to end. So, yeah. Let's go. So that was obviously someone from Team Aqua. Uh, there are, in the e there are two evil teams in this generation. Team Aqua and Team Magma. Team Aqua obviously want there to be more water for water Pokemon. And Team Magma wants there to be more met, more room for regular Pokemon, so less ocean. Ooh, and it's a Silicon. Easy kill for easy experiment experience, but we still use Ember, because I do not want stall war between Scratch and Harder. Anyway, I can't remember. I'm assuming Aqua was the enemies for Ruby and vice versa for Sapphire. I don't know. I don't really play those two. I just play the deluxe versions. Because, obviously, they are deluxe and the best version is. Anyway. Uh, moving on. So, in Pokemon Emerald, they decided to make both teams bad and at the end turn them somewhat good even though they do Absolutely nothing. And we are running out of ember, so I will stop using it unless I have dire need of it. Because there's like 11 left. And we still have and we still have stuff to do once we get out of here. Out of the forest, I mean. Okay, moving on to more Pokemon white and black news. So, the gym leaders thing, or like the gym leaders Pokemon, were really disappointing. Back to the old three thing again, where, where they have three Pokemon. So, we can add the rival to that. The rival is officially, has only three Pokemon, and they all suck. Uh, it has a starter. Uh, an elemental monkey, which I assume would be, since the starter would be effective against you, your, your starter, so I assume the elemental monkey would be weak against your starter, 
and then uh, it'll have a, uh, and I have a problem pronouncing it, but an unfezant, unfezant, something like that. Yeah. Alright. Let's go back here, get ourselves some nice item. And it's official. You get to face Adler. The grandson. Yeah. Adler has a grandson. <sighs> Never would have thought that. I mean, he has lots of muscly muscles. He's almost like Chris Redfield from Resident Evil. He abuses the steroids. Him and Mechamp have something in common. Anyway. Sorry, lost my train of thought. I went back to thinking about Chris Redfield and his muscly muscles. Um. Now let's see. Other news that I absorbed from looking through Cerebi. Not much, because I really don't like to read stuff about the game. I just read, you know, the few basic stuff. Because I really hate not finding stuff out for myself. Which really makes me mad when games are released elsewhere before where games aren't all released on the same day. Because that means I have to figure out some stuff without playing the game first. And I'm pretty sure she just gave us the Whaler Pal. I wasn't really listening or watching or anything. Ooh, I get a Rust Berry. A Rust Berry. Let's go. Anything we can do behind here? Nope. And we can't run in buildings. Forgot. <sighs> I miss Gen 4 and Gen 5 where you can run in buildings. Because the walking speeds are horrible in those games. I mean, they move a mile a minute. Actually, I would love to run a mile a minute. And if there was some horrible editing done right there, it is because I pressed a wrong button and I had to stop the recording. So, if the video was kind of choppy right there, you know why. Last time, I pressed that button four or five times in quick succession. So, there was some rather horrible editing. I warned you guys, and you got to marvel at how horrible it was. No, I didn't have a seizure right there. Ooh, it's a lass. I'd tap that. Well, really, uh, I'll just wait for May to come along because she's got the yeah, she's she's got the goods. You know what I mean? Die, low tag. And why am I using Ember? It's not even effective against you. Ah, button mash. Ooh, but we leveled up. And next, next comes a Shroomish, which means I definitely use Ember. And the next trainers up there are the f up on the bridge are the first official double battles, which of course means we cannot fight them because we only have one a Pokemon. Oh well. Oh, it'll be lonesome against her too. And they're little kids, so who cares? I'd beat them anyway. Timix would destroy both of you. Of course, I don't know me. I mean, I know me, you know me. I only don't know me when people ask questions about who I am. It's like a teacher. Uh, Timmy, why don't you announce, uh, why don't you announce your name to the class? And you go, Oh my god, what's my name? I I'm pretty sure she just said it, but my, my, my mind is blanking. Oh my god, who am I? Anyway, it's back to Magic Carp attacking time. Level 6 Magic Hearts that will bend to the will of my scratches. But we're almost in Respiro, so I can heal up. 
I can imagine this button pressing might be very loud for you people. Or you might not be able to hear it at all. Okay. And Fisherman Ivan has been defeated. Alright, let's go. Alright, we got some cherry berries. Heh, <laughs> right. And we got some lepa berries. Lepa berries are very awesome. You want to remember those because they uh, give you 10 PP for your moves, which works very well for Elite Four battles and whatnot. People, many people probably go, Oh no, I've run out of elixirs. I no longer have any attacks. But then they don't check for their lepa berries. Anyway, secret passage that has an item. An X defend. Great, we get to sell it for money. Anyway, now we're moving on to Rustboro. Rustboro is one of the points in the Pokemon series where graphics allow for big towns. So let's get going. We have lots to do, because this is by far the biggest town I've been in. Well, not by far. I'm pretty sure Cerulean and, uh, well, mainly just Cerulean could rival this size. And actually, there's more to do in Cerulean, but hey, hey, who cares? Alright, so, I would hate to live in build buildings like these. These are buildings where, yeah, like, like right here, Devon Corporation's buildings are in here. It's a skitty. Pretty kitty. Skitty pretty kitty. Anyway. Uh, Devon Empl- Devon. It's like the, uh, it's the Sylph Co, if you will, for this generation. S or this region, yeah. Anyway. This is where all their workers are, and we get a free premiere ball for our troubles. Of walking up a flight of stairs. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. What was the point of saying that, old timer? Jeez. Anyway, I would hate to live in the, this place. I mean, look at this tile. And there's like one bedroom for f six people. Well, I guess that couch could be a pull away bed. Oh, hey, baby. Wanna make out? Uh, okay. Who cares about stones? I wanna make out. Let's go. Guess not. Whatever. I think that sprite is for, like, a three-year-old anyway. So that's kind of bad. No, it's not that bad. I'm only ten. I could just say I have no idea what I'm doing. Sex. What is sex? Anyway. Let's go into the Pokemart. My Pokemon evolved. It has lots of HP. Ornate... Ordinary potions no longer work because they are useless. So now there's super potions already in the game. Anyway, we have no need for super potions because everywhere we'll be, we'll, we'll be in the immediate vicinity of a Poké Center. Or at least for the next while. Or the next, yeah, well, the next little chunk of the game. Do we talk to this guy? Who cares? I think we talked to that guy. But like I said, who cares? Anyway, this is the Cut Master's house. He'll give us the HM Cut. I wonder if he's a descendant of the captain. Or the brother of the captain from the Vermilion from the SSA. There we go. Who knows? And there are Crazy kids outside screeching. Who screeches anymore? Anyway, we need the stone badge to use this. And we shall get the stone badge. We just need a uh, Torchic to level up to Combuskin. So we can get Double Kick. Oh, I guess he just knows everybody in town. Well, to be fair, compared to, you know, like, Castella City. This is pretty small. But anyway, ooh, forgot a building. Wouldn't want to forget a building now, will we? 
Huh, he gives perfectly suited nicknames. Pika Chu. Of course. Well, hey, I can't really blame him. My Torchic is just named after me, except I got rid of the X. Or added an X and forgot the Y. Huh, this is a weird little counter right there. Ooh. Mom might like this program. Better get going. Just reading the stuff. Alright, let's go up here. There was nothing. Yeah, I can beat two trainers by myself with just one Pokemon. It is the sure awesomeness of Timex and his two chicken legs. The power all comes from the chicken legs. Alright. Oh yeah, Roxanne is just the greatest ever. You do realize she's the lowest gym leader, right? Right. Alright, if you study here, you can even become a gym leader. No, I'd rather not uh, have my profession to lose to other trainers for a living. Oh, hey, it's Stalker S. Scott. Huh. I'm pretty sure I just stole that from somebody, but I can't remember who. I'm pretty sure it was Scott S. Stalker. But we'll go with Stalker S. Scott, just because it's fun. Anyway, he's talking about cut, and he's also creeping on little children. Excuse me, sir, are you the father of one of these children? No. Then I'm afraid you are going to have to leave. But... I love the children, and I love the education that you give the children. Oh, uh, okay, you can just continue taking kids slowly into the bathroom one by one. They all exit with a horrified look on their face. That's fine. Alright, it's almost timed in this video. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, it's the chalkboard that has all the status stuff. Well, we'll do that next time. Bye.